Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a new line of SPF that I recently purchased from Space and K. These are the SPFs that I picked up. They are from the brand Ultraviolet and this is an Australian brand. And the reason I actually found out about this brand was through Caroline Hirons who did a special offer with Space and K and the offer involved 20% off and I had some vouchers that I needed to use on Space and K and I wanted a sunscreen that wasn't gonna give me a white color but also would be hydrating and be good for my sensitive skin. So I was really excited to pick these up. I'm going to show you what these look like. I think what I'll do is I'll try and show you one or two of these on my hand so you can see how they are and whether they leave an, a white cast, which I don't think they do. I've been told that they don't. When I've seen other people's reviews, it hasn't shown a white cast. But let me just talk a little bit about SPF. One of the things that is very, very important is the sun can not only cause damage, but it can cause long-term damage to your skin it can also give you sort of premature aging it could give you sunspots and it can cause cancer there are a number of things why we should wear SPF now I think in the UK people are a little bit wary of wearing SPF because we don't actually get a lot of sun however the sun is always out there unless it is pitch black because you're getting sun but it's hidden by the clouds. So as we move into the summer, I thought it'd be really good to talk about this sunscreen. And in particular, I wanted to talk about this brand because I am married to an Australian. So when we go to Australia, one of the biggest things is that they don't actually have an ozone layer, which means that they're more susceptible to sun damage because there is no ozone layer to protect them. So when I heard about this brand, I was really, really excited because I've been to Australia a few times. I felt the Australian sun. It's very, very hot. It's very, very extreme. But I thought that it would be really good to use these in the UK purely because we're now moving into summer and it would be sort of really good to protect my skin underneath my makeup. In the night, sometimes I use use a vitamin C or I'll use a glycolic acid and what that does is that it makes your skin susceptible to damage if you don't wear an SPF. So I wanted today to go through the four that I purchased. Like I said, I got these through Caroline Hiron's special deal that she did with Space and K because I thought it would be a good time to kind of revamp my SPF and look at products that won't give me that white cast on my skin. So I purchased this one first and this one was the ultraviolet queen screen lightweight this is very high protection and it's uva uvb it's 50 mil and it's an spf for 50 plus now this is really important because 50 plus means that it's pretty much like been tested for for skin at this level and I would recommend this level even though I know a lot of people prefer a lower level for someone like myself I definitely go with a 50 plus for everyday use we mean it apply lotion directly to face as the final step of your skincare regime do not stay too long in the sun even while using a sunscreen product over exposure to the sun is a serious health threat apply the sunscreen product before exposure reapply frequently to maintain protection especially after perspiring swimming or toweling reducing this quantity will lower the level of protection significantly. It's a cruelty free and it's paraben free. Formulated and created in the toughest place to get a sunscreen approved, Australia. So if any of these are going to work, I would definitely give this one a shot. So let's have a look at the packaging. So I'm just going to open it up. So it comes in this really cool bottle. It's got a dropper. This is the one that I'd probably leave at home because it's made of glass. So I would use this before I left the house and then I would take one of the other ones that are sort of more plasticky out with me to reapply because this one would be hard to carry around because it's a little bit heavy. So this is the sunscreen and I thought let's just have a look at how this looks. So it comes in a dropper. There is a slight rose fragrance but I don't mind rose. I know some people don't like rose. So if you don't like the smell of rose, then I'd probably say don't go for this one. So what I've done is literally done one drop. As you can see, that's one drop. I'm just gonna show you how it looks on my skin. So you can see that it's quite runny. It's not like, not too runny, but quite runny. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna rub it in as if this was my face, basically. Wow. Can you see immediately there is no white cast? at all it's literally blended into my skin so this is exactly what i wanted and i am really looking forward to giving this one a go 
I can smell the fragrance, but I think it will probably dissipate after a while. But that is what it looks like. That's the one that I purchased initially. The second one, I'll show you these two first. One is called Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial. So this is everything exactly the same as before. The other one is Clean Screen Fragrance Free Sensitive Facial. So this one doesn't have a fragrance. These are in a slightly different container. So if I take out the Clean Screen Fragrance Free Sensitive Facial Sunscreen, the directions are are quite the same as the other one but it comes in a different container so this one is more like a squeezy tube which is going to be a lot more easier to carry around and this one is better for someone with sensitive skin like myself this is really lovely we can also try this one together so I'm just gonna pump out one on my hand oh that's come out quite a lot actually didn't expect it to come out as much so this is a little bit more gloopier it's not as runny as the previous one but let's just that on now so this is for skin that is more sensitive so that has no fragrance at all which is really nice actually compared to the other side that's how they look so again this doesn't really have a white cast as well which is exactly what I need so I'm really looking forward to trying this it feels lovely it doesn't feel greasy as it goes into the skin it just feels really really nice so this is the sensitive one very very nice so the next one is the supreme screen hydrating facial so i wanted one that would give me a bit of hydration as well so these sunscreens i'm going to be sharing with my husband because he also when we go out we need the sunscreen he's a lot fairer than i am so you can use these together and, and share these as well so this is the supreme screen hydrating facial sunscreen again in the blue bottle let's give it a pump when you first use it I'm sure there we go this one came out a little bit less which is a bit better so let's rub this in so this is meant to be more hydrating this one doesn't have much of a fragrance either which is really nice so I think the only one that has the fragrance is the glass bottle one went in really well there's no white cast really nice this one is 50 mil and the other one was 50 mil as well finally this is the one that caroline hirons recommended caroline hirons recommended this one which had the sort of rose fragrance and she also recommended this one which is the extreme screen hydrating body and hand and this one is really good for which is something she mentioned when you're driving keep it like in your car so that you can put it on your hands and your body or if you're out and about it's a larger tub obviously because it's for the body as well we're not going on holiday anywhere but it's worth definitely taking this around with you let me show you what this one looks like so it's a larger tub this one has 150 mil so this is what the tube looks like ah, okay so this is a little bit different the dispenser has a little pump so you can twist it to shut it and then twist it again to open it so let's have a look how this looks okay so I'm just gonna dab a little bit there so that is the body one so let me show you the body one so oh this one has a coconut smell that's very nice Very, very nice. And again, no white cast, no white shadow, nothing. So, you know, if you have skin that's my skin tone, go into store to double check, I would say, if you're unsure. That doesn't leave any kind of white cast, definitely for someone of my skin tone. And so you'll be fine if you were fairer than I was or the same. Again, if you're slightly darker than I am, just go in store to double check. It leaves a gorgeous coconut smell. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the history of the brand. Ultraviolet products have been dubbed sunscreen for good reason. Its formulations are a hybrid of skin nourishing ingredients and high protection SPF that are comfortable enough to wear every day. Having struggled to find sunscreens to suit their skin type or that worked well with other skincare and makeup, Australian duo Ava Matthews and Beck Jefford set out to formulate their own and founded Ultraviolet in 2018. The brand has since developed a loyal following for its high protection of SPF that's dressed up as skincare. Designed to slot effortlessly into your morning routine, Ultraviolet's Australian made products don't peel, create a white cast or leave skin looking shiny. We love how the formulas incorporate free radical fighting antioxidants too. They also have other ones as well. There's the Lean Screen Mineral Mattifying. I don't need to be mattified, but there's definitely one there if you would like that one. There's also a lip balm as well, which is the 
Sheen's Green Hydrating Lip Balm. The majority of the products is the ones that I've got, but they do offer those other two as well. My initial first impressions is I really love it. I can't wait to try it with my makeup routine before I put on my makeup. So generally, I just wanted to give you the steps of when you would put sunscreen on if you were putting on makeup. So what I tend to do is I leave sunscreen to the final step of my skincare routine. So I would do everything that I would normally do and then when I finished I would then apply my sunscreen and then when I applied my sunscreen I would then put on my makeup base if that's a foundation or a primer that would go on after the sunscreen. So the sunscreen would be like my last step in my skincare routine. So I really hope that that helps. Please let me know if you've got any questions. It is a new brand and I can see why it's very, very popular. This is just my first impressions. I'll catch up with you again when I completely tried the products out. So please don't forget to leave me your comments in the comment section below. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.